Okay, this is uh, what's called a shunt wound uh, DC motor. And uh, let me turn it off here. What this is uh, in my little study is it's um, this one right here, where instead of having a permanent magnet here uh, in the field, you put a coil and you put it in parallel with the uh, rotor um, coil. And this goes to a power source. And then uh, as the brushes go around and hit the commutator, uh, you've got a magnetic field built up an electromagnet and then uh, an electromagnet here that's being uh, turned around with commutation and of course this is um, this is where most of my projects were with a permanent magnet in the rotor and then some sort of a coil uh, device triggering it either with the brushes or with a reed switch or something else and then this one here is where you use the uh, coil in the middle but you put a permanent magnet on it which is what I, I was doing here underneath the uh, the rotor that's in there and that came out of a 12 volt uh, motor and then I moved over to this uh, what they call a shunt connection and where I'm heading is this series wound motor where the uh, field coil is in series with the rotor and this is called a universal motor and this is uh, the target that I want to build is a universal motor and I want to do some experiments with this particular motor but anyway this is where I'm at with this project right now and in there is the uh, rotor from a 12 volt DC motor and then uh, this uh, field coil came out of a dishwater a dishwasher uh, motor and that's a permanent magnet in there and of course they run it on AC uh, and uh, I just took the uh, field coil out of that and put that around that rotor let's see if I can get it to go again here you have to hook up the field this may or may not go again here there it goes and it's just running on energy in that super cap